Season 13, Season of the Chosen, brings three new stasis aspects to Destiny 2, one for each class. While I know we're all waiting for the buff to light subclasses, in the meantime, Bungie is going to be fleshing out the new stasis subclass. The new aspects are available through a quick quest from the stranger, which will take you in a linear path to the Well of Infinitude, and you'll have to free some mini Doritos with your Salvation's Grip along the way. Bungie was nice enough to not only leave you heavy ammo along the way, but also you only have to do it once per account. That's right. But once, you only have to do the quest once, and your other characters can just go down to the stranger and pick up their aspect. Now let's take a look at what icy cold modifications we now have available to us. Hunters get Grim Harvest. Defeating slowed or frozen combatants creates stasis shards. These shards give you or your teammates melee energy when picked up. It also should be noted that this aspect has two fragment slots, one more than the other two fragments. Shurikens are strong enough on a hunter that I was pleasantly surprised by how useful this felt in PvE. Coupled with Gambler's Dodge, I was getting shurikens extremely often, and with the rest of the Revenant kit, clearing mobs felt easy peasy. In PvP, I was expecting this to be a bit of a flop, and I even turned to Babe and said, the only way I can see this being good is if the crystals from Guardians give you more energy. To lean into a shuriken heavy playstyle, I replaced Shattered Eye with Grim Harvest, and this aspect surprised me. I was making a shard almost every other kill, and pretty much always had at least one shuriken. Not gonna lie, this will probably be my main hunter build, just throwing shurikens, slowing, freezing, and getting more shurikens. If you enjoy our content here on YouTube, be sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash babexp, where we livestream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Join our awesome community where we laugh at each, I mean, laugh with each other and play awesome games. Titans get Howl of the Storm. While sliding, activating your charged melee ability sends out a wave of stasis crystals in front of you that freeze targets. It's similar to the Arc Strider melee and you can activate it in the air as long as you slide off the edge of a ledge. It also puts you in a short jumping for joy animation when it activates. This also activates if you light attack while sup in super while sliding and it stops your forward momentum so keep that in mind. It will create four crystals, the first being quite small, getting larger as they get further away. For PvE, this seems somewhat underwhelming. It actually does enough damage, it will kill low well health adds before freezing them, denying you hedrons or any other fragment that requires freezing. And to be fair, the melee isn't all that useful in PvE other than to get you out of dodge real quick, so using it for this instead with the aspect isn't a terrible idea. For PvP, while it took a little getting used to, this is hella fun. It also seems to be pretty dang strong, and it gives you a close quarters insta-freeze that you can then shatter with the slide. You can also fire your shotgun in the slide before you howl, and the crystals will provide you with cover after you activate it. The one thing to remember, which I briefly mentioned earlier, is that activating this will completely stop any forward momentum, which can get you killed, especially with this... Woo, animation that you got going on. I will definitely be using this on my Titan over Tectonic Harvest. No doubt. Warlocks get Bleak Watcher. Hold your grenade button down to convert your grenade into a stasis turret that fires slowing projectiles at nearby enemies. This turret lasts for 25 seconds, it cannot stick to walls, and it shoots slowing projectiles in bursts of 5. Each projectile will slow you, and when it stacks to 10 times slow, you get frozen. Its range is very far, and it will shoot at targets up to 32 meters away. For PvE, this is absolutely fantastic. Throw it in an area, and it will constantly slow and freeze enemies for you for 25 seconds, which is hella long. It also will proc Hedrons as long as there are enemies to freeze. There's not a whole lot to say other than if you're running Stasis Warlock in PvE, this is an easy choice over the Freezing Rift. Now on paper, this sounds ridiculously good for PvP. In practice, however, this feels less than whelming. There are a few reasons for this. The projectiles move very slow and are fairly easy to dodge. The turret only has 150 HP and can be shot fairly easily. It disappears when you die. You have to charge your nade to throw the turret. The dust field grenade is very strong on its own. And to top it all off, the Warlock Stasis subclass as a whole 
is just a little bit lacking. However, the proof is in the pudding, and in 73 games of trials on the first weekend of Season 13, we faced a single ice turret, and I shot and killed it. Let us know in the comments what your experience has been with the new aspects, and that's all I got for you today. Take her easy.